Hey everybody, it's Clonoclux999, and welcome to a new game. Now, as you may remember, a couple days ago, uh, Ninja Kiwi, the creator of Bloons, Boombot, Sass, Zombie Assault, you know, all those great games. I haven't actually played Sass. Um, recently they released on Steam the Ninja Kiwi Archive, and I ultimately just decided to call it Archive. Basically what it is, is it's a compilation of every single game, Flash game, that was posted on the Ninja Kiwi website. Except it seems to be missing the Balloons Tower Defense 4 expansion. But that's okay. Um, I'm sure something will happen eventually. Yeah. Um, and I'm really glad that they released this because, uh, because, uh, well, yeah, you, you know. But, but here, all of these are direct ports of, of, uh, every single game they made. There are no changes or anything. Uh, I highly recommend Boombot if you have not tried it yet. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's just, uh, all these cool games. But we're really going to be focusing on the Bloons games, and especially for this video. Now, the Bloons series started off as sort of puzzle games where you just throw the dart and, like, pop the balloons. However, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not really going to be playing, um, the original Bloons, at least not yet. I mean, my reasoning for that is just, is just simply because, well, I am not exactly, well, I'm not gonna say I'm not good at it, it's just the fact, it's just the fact that I get, I get stuck on the levels a lot, and, um, I just, and, uh, yeah, I, I just think it's, think, uh, Bloons is kind of hard and I don't really want to, uh, play it quite yet. So instead, I would like to play, um, the spin-off of Bloons. Bloons Tower Defense. Yes, uh, we are going to be playing Bloons Tower Defense. Now you don't know what what is Tower Defense? Tower Defense is well a thing where you place down uh, things and they shoot at the enemies. Um, it's it's kind of like Plants vs Zombies in a way, but this game uh, predated Plants vs Zombies by two years, so. Um, So, yeah. But, what is Bloons? Well, it's a game about monkeys with darts and, bl and balloons. Go figure. Okay, let's go ahead and start a new game. Welcome to Bloons Tower Events. Stop the balloons escaping by building towers next to the maze. Welcome to Bloons Tower Defense. Stop the Bloons escaping by building towers next to the maze. As you get more money, build more towers or upgrade existing ones. Okay, so, um, basically what's going to happen is, um, you have, um, these five towers. Dart Tower, cost 250, speed, fast, shoots a single dart, you can upgrade to piercing darts and long range darts. Tack Tower. Cost, 400. Speed, medium. Shoots a, a volley of attacks in eight directions. Can upgrade to its shoot speed and its range. Ice Tower. Cost, 850. Speed, slow. Free, freezes nearby balloons. Frozen balloons are immune to darts and tags, but bombs will destroy them. Can upgrade to increased freeze time and larger freeze radius. Bomb Tower. Cost, 900. Speed, medium. Launches a bomb that explodes on impact. Can upgrade to bigger bombs and longer range. Super Monkey. Cost, 4,000. Speed, hypersonic. Super Monkey shoots a continuous stream of, of, of darts and can mow down even the fastest and most stubborn balloons. Okay. So basically what you do is, um... Get your tower. Check it out. It's a monkey. Place it down. And, uh, you can upgrade it if you want, but I'm just going to hit start round. And what'll happen is... These balloon-like creatures, known as balloons, will come from the entrance. And your monkey 
will throw darts at them, and for each blue you destroy, you will get one dollar from it. And you can sell the tower for 80% uh, of what you spent on it. However, should the balloons reach the exit, you will lose lives. And if you, and if you lose all your lives, you will, uh, you will get a game over. So, if I restart, round one, we start off with $650 and 40 lives. Now, just a little bit of a disclaimer before we before we get started again. I just want to say that I'm going to go under the assumption that it is currently 2007 when Bloons Tower Defense just came out. And we're just going to sit oh, and to have fun and play some BTD and not compare it to the sequels like everybody else does. Okay? So. So, uh, oh, I'll, I'll go. Just to prevent, oops, um. Yeah, I apologize if you're going get, gonna to get mad at this, but um, I'm actually going to switch the uh, quality to low because I really because I really just do not want this game to be lagging. Because as you get further into the game, it really starts to lag, and honestly, I really think just turning the video quality down might just might just save our butts. So, and you know, this game has new has no music. Uh, what do you say we brighten the mood with just some simple, uh, basic music for such a basic game? Let's go. This music is the World 1 map from New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. I, yeah, I'm using copyrighted music, so what? I just thought it might fit, you know, the little basic grassy sidewalk, uh, map this level has. Sorry about that, just making the vol I'm sure the volume was at what I wanted. So, let's uh, put our for our dart monkey down. I know it's called a dart tower, but I'm going to call it a dart monkey because it is a monkey. And uh, now, not, you also might want to account to where you put the tower because, I mean, if you just place the tower here, it's only going to, because like that white bubble around it is its range. Any balloons that are in the tower's range is where our blue are the balloons that it's going to fire at. Um, what you want to do is put the tower in a place where as much of the track as possible is going to be in its range. Uh, right here would be a good place. Uh, now what? Now for the uh, for the dart monkey, if you uh, spend one hundred dollars on long range darts. You can you can increase its range a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't recommend increasing the range on too many of your towers, though. And I'll get into why that is in just a moment. Well, okay, but you can, but for two hundred ten, you can buy piercing darts. Now the dart monkey can only uh, pop one balloon at a time, but if you get the piercing darts, that will allow it to pop two balloons with one dart. Observe. Round one passed, 100 money awarded. That was too easy. Press start round to play the next round. Okay. Uh, you will get some funny flat splash messages after every round as well. Oh, uh, this, uh, uh, this game was created by... The original creator of this game was the wife of Stephen, um, one of the main developers of... Uh, of um, uh, of uh, Blue and Star Defense. Whoops, sorry about that. Um... Yeah, um, it was cre it was created by his wife, and the actual game itself was um, was uh, developed by Stephen and Chris, whom whom's last name I don't know, and I also don't know the first name of Stephen's wife, which is why I kind of just I kind of just said that refer, refer to her as that. So, anyways, at the end of each round, you will get um, at the end of each round, you will um, get bonus money for be beating the beating the round and you will get and you will get a uh, um, $1 for each blue oon you destroy. Okay. Now one important thing to mention about the monkey here is that it will always target the balloon that has traveled furthest. So 
So you you just gotta keep in mind you just gotta keep in mind that the its target is always going to be what still super easy. You didn't miss any either. Its target is all all is always going to be the furthest balloon that traveled. Now notice that right there we got um, ninety nine dollars instead of a hundred. After uh, the further you get into the game, the le the less money you're going to obtain. You'll get one less money after every round. You'll get one less money than the last round at the end every time. So, listen to keep in mind. Uh, next, I would like to show off the attack tower, but before I do, as the as these little red balloons come um down, check it out. We got blue balloons. Blue balloons are a stronger blue. They move faster than red balloons, and they also contain a red balloon inside them. So effectively, they take two hits. But when they get downgrade to a red balloon, they do move slower. So, so yeah. Now, something I want next. Blue balloons move faster and have red balloons inside them. Some important, some uh, thing to mention is something called the RBE, which is red balloon equivalent. That basically um, tells you how many, how many uh, balloons are inside uh, the balloon that you're firing at. So. Blue balloons have an RBE equivalent of 2, while red balloons have an RBE equivalent of 1. Does that make sense? Okay. So, next I want to show off the Tack Tower. Um, it costs $400, and it's not a monkey, it's actually like a machine. Um, my guess is that you jump on top of him and it, spread, and it shoots 8 tacks in 8 directions. Um, if I put it down here, basically it'll shoot eight tacks and it'll go on all these sides so it's a good idea to place a tack tower in like a place where it'll be shooting at a it'll be shooting at balloons for as long as possible you can so places like here or here or here or here or here those are good places corners are good too you can see it's shooting in eight directions Remember to spend your money. Yes, there there could be times where you get distracted by what's going on that you kind of forget to like upgrade your towers. Like, because it's a good idea to upgrade your towel hours like while the balloons are going by. Uh, let's get extra range tags. Uh, I will openly admit this game is a little bit difficult. Um, so one thing that might be an idea to do is if you're going to use uh, dart monkeys and tax and tax shooters, is that. You might not want to focus on getting range instead just get like the piercing darts and the faster shooting because um because they're they are they are a lot more useful than just the tower being able to attack further you can see the uh attack shooter is getting a lot of balloons on all sides because because it's in um a really good spot Green balloons move even faster and have blue balloons inside them and are also bigger. So here you go, we have green balloons, which have a red balloon equivalent of three. And as you can imagine, they have blue balloons inside them, which have red balloons inside them. So you'll get three times as much money as this, but they also move faster, so they are definitely more dangerous. Uh-oh, looks like some balloons are about to escape. Nope, Dart Monkey wouldn't have it. Lots of blue ones coming up. Hope you're ready. Now I'm ready. Now for the next towers, I'm not really going to focus on putting them down. I think I'm actually just going to put more Dart Monkeys down. Because I will say, the Dart Monkeys are actually a really good tower. Like, they look really weak because they just throw one dart at a time. But the fact that you can actually have them pop two balloons at a time with just one dart if you get the upgrade... Um, they can become really fearsome if they get really high in numbers, like, and in fact, they're so good, you actually can beat this entire game by using only dart monkeys. The dart tower piercing upgrade allows darts to pop up to two blooms each. 
yeah, dirt, yeah, dirt monkeys are a really good tower, so you, it's definitely a good idea to place down as many as you can. And once you do, get the piercing darts as early as you can, because, um, a lot of people, including myself and the Ninja Kiwi staff, honestly think it's better to, um, upgrade your towers rather than just placing down more of them. So, yeah, that's my suggestion for you. Also, you might remember I actually did a video on Bloons Tower Defense, like, like a few years ago. Um, I decided to do this over again, be mostly because, you know, I know better about this game, and also because of the client, um, and they are cheap. And honestly, because of just, what because of the thing with Flash, I just thought, I just felt very unmotivated to play, um, the Bloons games anymore. Because I thought, well, if they're gonna be gone, then what's the point of playing them more? Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, they cost 250. All dart monkeys strive to become a super monkey. Uh-oh. I think, I think some blues are going to escape. Uh, nope. See, they're really good. Are you ready for a whole bunch of greens? I think I am. Um, the tag towers are also are really good for like thinning out the crowds. So like if I put like um, a bunch of tag towers here, they would be shooting at the balloons, and like the really strong balloons would uh, lose their layers like really quick. So I think I'll put uh, yellow balloons are you guessed it even bigger and even faster and have greens inside them. Uh, I'm gonna put some more tack towers here in a second. Let's check it out. We got yellow balloons now. Um, believe it or not, they're not even the strongest in this game. They are faster. They have a red balloon equivalent of a uh, of um, four. And dang, these dart monkeys do not mess around. Tower upgrades are usually a better option than just adding more towers. Yeah. Uh, by the way. Be careful hovering your mouse over the restart button because it'll just restart without asking, so be careful. So I'm just going to put down the uh, tack towers, um, the tack shooters here. It's just tower defense is, is about what towers you use and where you put them. Yeah, I'm going to put the uh, tack towers here and just let them, and just let them, uh, and just let them thin out the crowds. Uh, I actually looked on Bloons Wiki, and um, there was actually a section where, uh, um, that said that the, there's a glitch where if you put two tack shooters too close to each other, and either of them would shoot. I've never honestly, I've honestly never experienced this glitch before, so I don't even know if it's real or not, or if that they just got to be like really close together. The Super Monkey Tower is not a joke. He really kicks ass. Yep, he kicks ass. And this game was put on CoolMath.com, believe it or not. Eh, judging by what kids are growing up on these days, hey, who cares? You lose one life for every bloom that escapes. So a bloom blue costs you two lives, green three lives, etc. Okay. So I'll put this so I'll put this tax shooter here, and then I think I'll, I'll, I'll start I'll start I'll start to save up for some of the more expensive towers. I've tried and you can't pass the game using only tack towers. You can slow the game aim a lot down a lot though. Yeah. Speaking of glitches by the way, um there's actually a really really cool glitch that I would like to show um after we um just beat this. Like I'm going to I'm going to try to beat all 50 rounds. Uh 
in this video. If I don't, oh well, I've beaten this game plenty of times before, so I think, uh, I think I'll be able to do it. Like, it's hard, but I don't really think it's that hard. Relax a bit. There are no yellow balloons in the next level. So while I would put down the ice tower here, I think I'm just going to, uh, let, I think I'm just going to let, uh, let them get us some more money. Because, uh, the ice tower and the bomb tower actually work really well together. Have you played Bloons? Yes, I have, and I, I like it a lot. Okay, so we had $1,351. Uh, let's put an Ice Tower down. This isn't really going to be useful. In fact, it's actually going to hinder our progress a little bit, but I just at least want to show it. Um, I, want th I guess we could put it near the uh, entrance to kind of... Um, to kind of uh, uh, just kind of lump the balloons together a little bit, but... Hmm. I've actually never tried that before. Yeah, let's try it. So, I'm just I'm going to call it an ice I'm actually going to call it an ice ball because well, it's it's called that in other places and also it really is just like an orb in a bit of snow or something. So, I really think it is an ice ball. Uh, let me just make sure something Okay, so I can't fit another tower in there. Yeah, so it basically freezes the balloons, but but it also will um, make the balloons Im immune to uh, anything that's sharp, like the darts or the tags. Uh-oh, they're getting through. Uh-oh, we're losing some lives. Um, oh, crap, maybe it was a bad idea for me to put that there. Um, God, we lost seven lives there. It, but whole bunch of balloons coming up and that's kind of a reference to the fact to the frozen balloons from to the from uh the original balloons and to the fact that when you hit them with your dart they froze the balloons around them and the and your darts would just kind of bounce off the balloons and just and make them impoppable so <laughs> impoppable <laughs> pun on impossible oh uh, that's been used before okay so now that I've shown the uh, ice tower a bit in kind of the wrong way, I want to show off the bomb tower, which I'm going to call a cannon. So it doesn't really look too much like a cannon, but hey, um, I think I'll put it here. Uh, actually, hmm, I'll put it right here. Okay. So basically what it does is it fires a bomb out and it actually can get um, a lot of balloons at once, but it can only get one balloon at a time and it fires kind of slow. So I'll oh, actually meet him. Um, and you can increase its range with, uh, and you can also get um, bigger bombs too easily. Let's set this up a bit. Basically the bigger bombs will make it so um, the bombs make a bigger explosion and therefore can get more balloons per ex per bomb. Uh oh. We really should probably put more dart monkeys down. Place your tower so they can be shooting at something for a long time. Corners are good. And they are. Uh, we're actually losing quite a bit of lives, but I want to get an ice tower first. If I can't... Oh well, I guess. Yeah, that's one thing why blue, my yellow balloons are really annoying. Because they're so fast, they kind of slip by your defenses really, quick, really well. And the bomb tower has a glitch, and actually in, the, in this game, the bomb tower has a glitch where, um, ready for 45 straight yellows? No! Um, the bomb tower, well, the cannon kind of has a glitch where sometimes the explosion sound will play twice, but that's okay. Uh, let's put down the, um, the ice ball right here. The ice ball and the cannon work very well in conjunction with each other, because the, ta the tacks and darts can't pop the, up the frozen balloons, but the bombs can blow them up. 
So, so you can have the ice ball freeze the balloons and just have them have the uh, cannon um, unload on them. Now you might think it might be e smarter to switch the positions of the um, of the to switch the positions of the of the cannon and ice ball because how because uh, the ice ball has a lot shorter range than the cannon. But actually, it's because um, if I were to put the cannon right here, the cannon would start would kind of be firing at um, at balloons I don't really want it to fire at. And by putting it here, it can have it forced to hit the balloons like that right next to it and the ice ball. Um, that and if a balloon is like right, directly right next to the to the uh, to the cannon, the bomb will just kind of spawn on top of it and and explode like right away. Yeah. the and don't worry, none of your towers can take any damage. They'll just sit there and just be awesome. See, there's an example of uh, of the ice ball and the cannon working really well together. Let's get the wide freeze radius. This, of course, will um, increase yellows, greens, then more yellows. That should take care of you. Yeah. Um... That will increase the uh, range for the ice ball. Um, but the long freeze time will extend the amount of time that the balloons are frozen for. Did you know that the Greek National Anthem has 136 verses? No, I did not. That's nice that the devs are trying to bond with the player a little bit. Long freeze time, that'll, incre that'll increase the uh, the amount of time the balloons are frozen for. Um, now that we're kind of halfway through, and... Uh, actually, no, we're not. Yeah, we are halfway through. And we've kind of lost quite a bit of our lives. I think I might want to try to save up for a super monkey, but I need to get um, more dart monkeys first because we're definitely lacking on a lot of them. Sorry about that. Let's start putting more dart monkeys down. I like to put them down and put them... Uh, up here because they're close to where the balloons start and they're also close to the exit so they can get any stragglers that might get by like these greens right here and I especially want to have them close to the to the entrance because there are there is one because we have honestly yet to see the strongest balloon type in this game Attack towers are really useful for thinning out crowds. Get the speed upgrade for extra effectiveness. Yeah, that's exactly exactly that's exactly what we're doing right here. kind of funny like every time the ice ball like does, does its thing it goes like brow <laughs> black balloons are nasty they are small but contain two yellows inside them oh did i mention they are immune to bombs oh boy okay so these next balloons black balloons now these are the strongest balloons in the game they are small, but somehow they have two yellow balloons inside them. And just like the game text said, they are immune to explosions. If, it, if a cannon were, or were to attack them, it would do nothing to them. When you sell a tower, you get 80% of what you paid for it, including all upgrade money you spent. So the fact that they are immune to practically the most powerful tower in the game, next to the dart monkey, of course, uh, they, would, they um, can be pretty devastating. So... Yeah, be careful with them. 
Try to, that's, that's honestly why, um, it's a good idea to have a lot of attack towers near the entrance, because, um, because they can attack them really fast, and, um, sometimes even get the yellows that are inside them, so the, so the, uh, so the, uh, ice ball can freeze them, and then the cannon can blow them up. And I have not been putting my, uh, dark mix in. Lots and lots of yellows, more than a hundred even, followed by a bunch of black balloons. So I bet some of those hundred are inside the black balloons. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. important to mention that sometimes the black balloons do get by, and if they do, well, hopefully they can do it. And, uh, it, don't just pause and, and, uh, stop putting towers down, like, in the middle of the, uh, uh while the balloons are going by. It might be, it isn't definitely an idea to, uh, put down more towers while it's going on. Next is a cash round. Pop hundreds and hundreds of greens to top up your money. If you leak, if you leak any, I'll wince. <laughs> I'll try not to. No promises, though. Maybe once I fill up this area in here, I'll try to get more... I'll try to get a super monkey. As the game goes on, it does start to lag a little bit because there's just so many things on screen. You know, actually, um, he said it was, uh, uh, impossible to pass. Hold on. Monkeys aren't so good at shooting things moving to the left. Something about being right-handed, I guess. Yeah, all the monkeys are right-handed. Deal with it. Um, God, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. They said it was, it was impossible to pass the game using only the tax shooters, but I saw on the balloons wiki that upon further research, that's actually not true, so... I have tried, um, passing it with the only tack tower, it's kind of, it is kind of, it is hard, I guess, I mean, I'm sure it is possible if you just put them in the right places, but it still can be really hard. I'm sure it's impossible to do without losing any lives. Yeah, I can see, that's why the dart monkeys are so good, is because they're ganging up on the balloons, because, like, there were a couple black balloons they got through, and they took care of them really fast. The good thing about black balloons is that they move slower than yellows. That is true. All right, I put this one down, and then I'll put one more down. It, what? What? Okay, that was weird. I've never encountered that graphical glitch before, but I have encountered a few graphical glitches, like for example, the things being green despite not having enough money for it, and the green kind of clipping through the red. Yeah, it's a flash game. You can kind of improve the frame rate a bit if you have no tower selected. A uh, lot of yellows. Now that we got um, a little army of uh, dart monkeys there, I think I'm going to try to save up for a super monkey, because like I said, it's $4,000, but as you can see, we're racking up a lot of money with just these balloons alone, and the fact that we get more of it after every round, um, it, it, yeah, money is not really all that scarce in this game, so I'll try, so I guess I'll try to get one. 10% of people lose their temper every day. If they play Counter-Strike, it's it's more like 90% they think. 
Uh, real quick, let's just see if um, this is, that's actually a game made by Ninja Kiwi. We got Counter Snipe. Hmm. Either I'm not looking hard enough, or it's just it's just it's not a Ninja Kiwi game. Oh wait, isn't Counter Strike like a? Oh, oh, I am a dunce. Okay. Whatever. Let's just keep playing. Yeah, I noticed the game is starting to lag a little bit now because there's so much stuff on screen. And as you guys know, I don't exactly have a great computer. If you're wondering what happened to that, if you're wondering what happened to that, um, to that uh, eight gigabyte desktop computer I have, that I left in Connecticut when I, um, that I left in Connecticut when I, um, uh, when I moved to Florida because, uh, well, it wasn't exactly mine. I mean, I'd be glad to steal it now, based on the based on the situation. But, yep, yeah, uh, yeah, I I don't have it because it's not exactly mine. You will probably need to use every tower type to finish the game. That's not true at all. It's also impossible to pass this game using only ice balls because one they can't because one they can't pop balloons at all. But and two, well they they're too expensive. And same with the cannon, you can't beat it with only cannons. Because they're too expensive, but honestly, I don't really think you'd be able to, you'd be able to uh, beat this game with only cannons if they were, even if they were not that expensive. You can improve the frame rate a bit by having no set tower selected during the round. Yeah, even if they acknowledge the frame rate. That's why I had to turn the quality on low, guys. Don't complain. Because uh, honestly, would you rather have better graphics and a lot of lag, or would you rather have worse graphics and uh, and a much better F FPS? Yeah, I'd go with the latter, personally. I actually remember um, I actually remember seeing a video um, called "Playing Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Lowest Video Settings." <laughs> Hon honestly, I want to try that with some 3D game. Just play them on the lowest video settings to see what it looks like. I wonder what some of the Valve games would look. Actually, no, Valve games look kind of look fine even with the low video settings. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering, Celeste, you ever gonna play Portal 2? And, well, I got it recently, and I'm almost finished with it, so I guess soon we will be seeing a Let's Play on Portal 2. Just Black Bloons coming up. Lots of them. You know, it's kind of funny because, um, a little while ago, uh-oh, the balloons are kind of starting to, uh, get through a bit more. Come on, dart monkeys, don't let us down. Oh, nah, this is not even a problem. What was it saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, this Ninja Kiwi archive, oh, wait, hold on. Gotta read the splash messages, because that's what I do in games, I read the text. Just around the corner, there are a, th a th there are a throng of yellow balloons waiting to have a go. Personally, I like to believe the balloons are plants. Um, well, I'll get into that more in a later let's play. What was I saying? Oh yeah, with this Ninja Kiwi archive, it kind of made um something I wanted to do a little bit null and void. I wanted to try to make a compilation uh game of of Balloon Star Defense one, two, three, and four that that would um 
It basically um, was a made from scratch compilation of those four games in Click Team Fusion. But, um, yeah, it, that, now that they've released this, it's kind of null and void. Unless something really, really, excuse my language, but so, unless something really, really shitty happens, I, nah, I guess what I want to do is kind of null and void just because we got this now. Yeah, maybe I'll do it anyway. Who knows? But hey, we got $4,000 now, so I guess when uh, this round's over, I'll put place down the Super Monkey, and I can show you guys why he why he kicks ass. Just for fun, there are some e some of each color balloons in this next level. Enjoy popping those easy reds for a change. Hey, so Super Monkey's gonna have a go at the beginning of the game. Here he is. He's got a blue. He's got a blue outfit on. He's got a, a, um, a B on a B for balloons. It basically is just a parody of uh, Superman. Uh, he doesn't really have that many upgrades. He's he shoots the fastest and he has the the biggest range. Actually, he has the well, yeah, he does have the biggest range with his upgrade. All he really has is an upgrade um for just for just increasing his range. So not really much to him. Be cool if he had like laser vision or something like that. Alright, so it said his speed is hypersonic. Check it out, you see that? He throws like 8 darts per second, and uh... Yeah, he shoots very fast, and he can pop, and he can uh, mow down balloons, but the thing is that his... His um, darts can only uh, pop one balloon at a time. I don't get why he doesn't have a piercing dart upgrade like the like the dart monkeys do, but that's fine. I guess that would be a little bit overpowered, so maybe that's why he doesn't. But then again, he, but then again, he still can't pop the frozen balloons. Oh well, the ice ball, th oh, for the ice ball frozen balloons up here. Okay, and we'll just wait until he gets uh, we get um, two thousand four hundred for um the epic range uh the super monkey if you're gonna get him i wouldn't necessarily recommend getting the range upgrade i'm just getting it because um you know he has it so i wouldn't rec i wouldn't recommend getting it but if you want to get a super monkey if you want to he can mow down things a lot so that is it's not that he's bad he's, he's just kind of expensive Eighty black balloons. Enjoy. Oh boy. We didn't have anything down here. Maybe we should put like some tack towers down here. It's important to not lose early lives because the levels are only getting harder. That is one really important thing in Bloons Tower Defense. Don't, don't uh, lose lives in the beginning because it's only getting harder. Now we're getting introduced into white balloons. Uh, white balloons are basically the same as black balloons. They have two yellow balloons inside them. But um, the only difference is that they're immune to the ice balls freezing. Um, they're probably like, well, if they have the same red balloon. Well, yeah, they actually... They have a nine red balloon equivalent, like a black balloon. If they only have, a, if they have the same red balloon equivalent as the black balloons, then why are black balloons um, the most powerful balloon in this game? Well, as I said, um, as I said, um, black balloons are immune to explosions, um, and the 
while the white balloons are immune to freezing, so they can't, so that, so, they're immune to something that doesn't kill balloons at all, so, white balloons are immune to freezing, they also have two yellows inside them, yeah, they're immune to something that doesn't kill balloons at all, so, that does make black balloons the most powerful balloon in the game. Alright, so here's the Super Monkey's Epic Range. As you can see, it's nearly the entire track, so I guess maybe it is worth it a little bit. Anyways. Uh, I think I'm going to put some Tack Towers toward the bottom, just to have some... Uh, I think I'll put like three in the bottom, and then I guess we'll just make the rest of the army Dark Monkeys. It's not going to be doing anything to the uh, frozen balloons, but hey, it still works. And wow, the white balloon actually slipped by because you know, because the bomb wasn't able, the cannon wasn't able to target it. Yeah, now you can see why the balloon, the dart monkeys are so good. Like we had a ton of balloons down going down here, and the mo and the dart monkeys and the super monkey just mowed them. Wow. <laughs> How many monkeys does it take to, take to make a super monkey? That stuff will keep you up all night. Well, actually, it doesn't because um, dart monkeys cost uh, two hundred fifty dollars, and uh, super monkeys cost four uh, four four thousand dollars. So basically, so um, it, it actually takes some sixteen super dart monkeys to make a super monkey. So yeah. And I think I was talking about something I already forgot what it was. My bad. Oh yeah, it was saying something about the about the right-handed thing. Yeah, you can see because that super monkey was having trouble hitting that balloon because he was because uh yeah they shoot like directly where the balloon is. They don't really shoot where it's going to be. So um I guess so the so the monkeys are better at hitting um balloons close up than they are far away. Okay, and I am not putting down my towers. I really should be. How many dark monkeys are in the field right now? There's 13 right there. This guy was our first dart monkey up here. He's special. Lots and lots of black balloons, more than ever. Not that they're a problem or anything.
Lots and lots of, of and lots of white balloons more than ever. So first we had a round. So first we had a round of more than ever black balloons, then a more than ever round of white balloons. Round of ah, uh, apparently, yeah, apparently, apparently the black uh, black balloons wanted to uh, wanted to keep them separate from the white balloons. You stay out of this, you white guy. Yeah. Okay. And, Wow, that that sounded a lot more bad than it did out loud than it did in my head, and I am very sorry for that. Gosh, God, I normally do don't do things like that, but it just I don't know. Maybe that's why I don't do I don't do things like that because it sounds a lot worse out loud than it does in my head. Lots of white, then black, then yellow balloons. The next level's going to her. For the balloons, not us. By the way, if you don't know how to cancel um, buying a tower, you can pre you press escape. But if you're playing in the archive, it also exits full screen. So, mm. oh, excuse me. <laughs> Where are these burps coming from? I drank a Mountain Dew soda yesterday, not today. Might go ahead and get another uh, Subway sandwich tomorrow. I usually like to only get them if I'm like really hungry. Like, like, do you ever get like a foot long tuna sandwich from uh, Subway? Those things really fill you up. Oh. You still playing? I'm impressed. I couldn't get this far without cheating. <laughs> I mean, there, as I said, there is a glitch and you can do in this game, but that I'm not going to be abusing. But I will definitely show it. Is why the video's been going on on for a while. I just, I kind of would like to, uh, anytime I play a balloons game, I kind of would like to have each track to be the entire video. Just could, um, well, actually come to think of it, nah, not gonna do that. So in future balloons tower defense games, I won't make every video, every video like 50 minutes long. I'll do like 25 rounds and then I'll. Then I'll cut cut the video in half. Anybody else get anybody else getting sick of the new Super Mario Brothers World One map? Yep. Apparently, I am so much to the fact that I'm forgetting to put my towers down again. You think this is easy, by the way? Um, just letting you know, the series is not going to e get any easier from here. The 
You got any super monkeys yet? Are they really worth all that money? Eh, they kind of are. I mean... He definitely... He hasn't... No, he hasn't really... Well, he's been helpful, just not as helpful I, as I think he could be. Especially considering the fact that he doesn't have a piercing dart upgrade, but he's definitely still good. He, de he really is. Oops, uh. So then, now you can see why it's not really a bit good idea to get, like, the, um, extra range. I wish you could press a, a button to view the last, uh, splash, me splash message. Splash message. Like, um, like you can view the last brief by pressing select and Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2. And London, sorry. It's always a game I'm forgetting. Which is odd because I'm not normally one to exclude games. Yeah, sorry the game is lagging so much. There's really just nothing I can do about that. Anything else we can play with in here? Probably, sh probably shouldn't, but... I wonder if there is something I can do. We get enough dart monkeys to last us, so I think I'm just gonna hit start round and just sit back and relax. And you should too. Go ahead and take go ahead and take a sip of your milk if you have any. There you go. Jeez, there's nothing on screen. Well, there is one. It's okay if you don't pass this level. Really it is. Just hit try again. It's the effort that counts. That is true. We learn from our mistakes.
so many balloons. This is the last level. There's tons and tons of black and white balloons coming up. Hope you have lots of lives left. Get 24. Hopefully that's enough. Just threw my water bottle across the room. Thug life. Yeah, while this is going on, I guess I'll just bring it to the recycle bin. And I'll put my cup in the sink. I'm back. Anything funny happen while I'm gone? Well, we've got over $3,000. We haven't lost any lives. Well, we've lost lives, but we haven't lost any uh, in this round. And hey, it came just as soon as the last bloom was coming. You know what my theory is? The reason you lose lives is because beyond the exit is your base of operation. And that's where the balloons are trying to get. Uh... And uh, basically, popping if, when the balloons get in, they pop on their own and cause lots of damage. Congratulations! Play again, or play more games. Uh, we can play more games if you want. But there you go, guys. That is Balloons Tower Defense. We hit play again. That restarts everything. Bye, Super Monkey. And just so you know, learn the hard way. The hitting reset just restarts the whole thing. But anyways, guys, that was Bloons Tower Defense. Um, it's not the only video on this, uh, this game I want to make. I want to show off that glitch, and I do want to um, maybe show you guys as uh, beating the game with just a specific tower. So, I guess I'll see you guys whenever I like to post those videos. See you guys then.